Hello everybody. Uh, now again, uh, as I said, uh, we will continue with our uh, with our possessive adjectives. But before we continue, I would like to urge you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Learn languages, foreign languages. They are very important. They are a life changer. And follow my lessons in my YouTube channel. So I continue with uh, with using French possessive adjectives because we saw the French adjective, uh, French possessive adjectives in our previous lessons, but we actually saw the description. So in this in this uh, in this lesson, I want to emphasize on how to use the French possessive adjectives. You know, that's what uh, what we talked about, uh, that the lesson, the previous lessons. So the, that is the mon, ma, me, the son, sa, se, and then the, the, the notre, notre, nos, votre, votre, vos, et puis the leur, leur, leur. So uh, we continue, as we continue with the, these lessons, it is important uh, to realize that the French grammar has more possessives than English because there are different forms, not only for the person and number, but also for the gender and the first letter of that which is possessed. We saw a word like ami. Ami starts with a vowel, so you cannot say, you can say, Either monami, which is masculine, and monami, which is feminine, but it is going to remain monami. That is M O N. It's not going to change to ma. You cannot say ma ami because, like I explained, ami starts with a vowel. So you cannot put two vowels like that together, especially when it starts with something like M O M M A. So you will just say monami. But like I said, all the different forms, I'm going to put them in examples. So in the table below, you will see, I will explain explicitly with the examples. Because the table that we saw in the last lesson, th that was just the descriptives. Um, and it was just, uh, I was just uh, showing you uh, the possessive adjectives in French. And you, as you have realized, you know, French has many possessive adjectives because they change the form. If it is, a, if it is some, the, the noun is feminine, you have to put ma. If it is masculine, you have to put mo, and so on and so forth. But if it is feminine, but it begins with a vowel, you will put mo. So you have to be really keen with the French uh, way of doing things because actually... It is completely different from the English way of how to manage uh, elements or to manage different to or to manage different elements that are used um, to make sentences in a language. So you have to listen carefully because, like I said, these are the, 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 the possessives in French. There are many. But you must master them because I put for you in the previous table, in the previous lesson, so that you can see the, the, the differences, how you use them. So, like in, in, in French grammar, you have the singular, you have the plural, you have the feminine, you have the masculine, and so on and so forth. So, when you look at our table now, the table that I have... Uh, I have made for you today. Actually, it's now I'm giving examples. So as you can see in that table, if you look in in English, we say my pen, or there's another uh, another um, another word there. Okay, because you have my pen, or you have my friend. So you see in English, you just say my pen or my friend there's no difference you just say my but if you look at now the french way of saying it my pen you'll say mon stylo yeah mon stylo yeah 
so monstilo you see you have put m o n but my friend yeah my friend if it is if it is if it is it, if it is uh if it is feminine there you see i have written monstilo monstilo means my pen and then there's o u o u in french means or mon ami so mon ami with which ends with an e there mon ami that is feminine that is if that is if your friend it's a lady huh? if she's a lady you will say mon ami because she's a lady but if if it was a a, a female friend you will say mon ami still but there's no e and then you will see also we said because we said h is also silent so h you will say always monom my man is monom because h is silent but even here home is masculine even if we you find something with an h even if it is feminine that word you will put it you you you'll use more in order to because h h h excuse me h is always considered silent it's as if the word was beginning with an o so mona monom then uh, uh, monom is my man okay now that is masculine singular yeah plus with vowel and h so follow those rules listen carefully you will see you will follow those rules and then you will have no difficulties now let's come to feminine singular feminine singular feminine singular i will you take for example here i've taken an example of my chair so you see you just say my chair you will say and in french it is ma chaise because it is feminine chair is feminine in french in french every noun has a gender you will say my chair my my chair is is feminine my table also is feminine so table is a table you it's just written the same like in french but you say ma table because table is feminine you will you will you will know how to the diff to differentiate feminine masculine uh, okay as you go along as you use because if you realize most words that end with e yeah, most most nouns with that end with e are feminine but there are some exceptions because i'll give you a, a good exception is a glass in french a glass in french is is ver is v yeah v e double r e it is ver huh? and then you see ver huh? ver in french is masculine though it ends with an e so you call mon ver mon ver so m o n then ver v e double r e you see it's an exception but that's not that does, does not um, uh, prevent you from knowing that most verbs most nouns not verbs that end with e are feminine so let's go to plural when we come to plural you know we, we said plural is me because here we looked at more then we looked at ma then now we're looking at me when you come to plural you see plural it's both masculine and feminine when you use me it doesn't matter whether it is masculine whether it is feminine so for example there i use i said my dog so dogs yeah, in french is a chien so when you say my dogs you say me chien and then you add an s normally to show that it is plural so even in french you know when you add an s to words most words are plural and with s so for example you see my dog so it is me chien and then my chairs chair like i said is feminine in french but you see here we just say me shares you just add an s at the end of e then my friends my friends you see it doesn't matter whether they are masculine or feminine you will just say mes amis yeah 
mes amis, you don't remove anything from EMS. Eh? Like when you uh, when you did with the, uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm saying, you know, that nothing changes anyway. Nothing changes. Huh? My friend is, it is M-E-S for friend. If it was friend, uh, your, my, my, uh, my friend's feminine, it's going to be still my, my mezami, but you, there will be, you'll add an E-S. Huh? There will be an E because E is to show that uh, um, the, the friends are feminine. Now, let's get, uh, we're still in the table. Looking now, we are looking uh, closely of how to use these possessives. Huh? So, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Or uh, those some, some my students that are in France, uh, we can you can ask me the questions while we are in class. I hope you are following out. So I hope they are following their lessons. I hope they are following these lessons because actually I'm using the book that I actually gave them. So they have these lessons, and it is, uh, it is much easier for them to follow if they also follow my lessons online. I hope they are doing so. Anyway, now let's come to your. So I'm still using the example of friends so that we can just know how to use uh, the possessives. Vocabularies, we, we can learn much later so that how you can put any word, any noun that you will use with the, with the possessives later when you're going to practice how to make sentences, longer sentences with, with the you. For example, now you are with your friend. So your friend, when you look at that, there's your friend, I put male, female. Yeah? So your friend, so which means it can be tonami, that is a male friend, or tonami. A female friend which ends with an e so here it is ton and ton because it starts with a vowel it starts with a vowel so remember that uh, tonami u tonami u remember i said means or uh, tonami u tonami so it's the same it's the same pronunciation but you you've added an e for the female friend and there's no E for the male friend. So, tonami, u, tonami, which means your friend or your friend. But one is your friend masculine, the other is your friend feminine. Now, let's come to feminine singular because we were in a masculine singular. So, here is the same thing. When you, when you get to, when you, when you, when you use uh, ton, uh, if there's, it begins with a vowel, it is going to be ton. You can't say ta ami. You can say ta ami. It's just for pronunciation. You know, French, they are really clean on pronunciation. Because it, it is going to be, pron to, uh, to, to pronounce it becomes a bit tricky. That's why you say they'll say ton ami when there's that vowel you know, in, instead of saying ta ami. So you will see. Anyway, here you will see. Uh, feminine singular. So in feminine singular, we come back to the chairs, you, you, the, the, the chair, la chaise. Huh? We said, your ch in my, it was my chair, so it was my chaise. Now it is your chair. Then your chair, like he said, since it is feminine, you have to say, ta chaise. Ta chaise. So, you hear, for my chair, it is ma chaise. So, you, you can even repeat after me. Ma chaise. Ma chaise. And then it yours is ta chaise. So, when we come to, we come to the plural, like I said, plural, so it is your chairs. It is going to be te chaise. Te chaise. Te chaise. You can come. Uh, you can repeat after me. Te chaise. Okay. Now, if you have any question for for you all, you can get back to me in the comment section and ask me any question. Now, let's come to his or her friend. So, male or, fe or female. So, it's the same thing. If it is uh, whether it is his or her, yeah, it is always going to be sonami. Yeah? Sonami. Even if it's a lady. Yeah. Yeah, you will say uh, if it's a lady you say sonami it's, it means her friend yeah. even if it's a lady it is sonami even if it's a man it is his friend sonami so 
he her friend or his friend is still the same sonami so there you can say sonami it is u sonami or his friend sonami u sonami so repeat after me sonami u sonami remember uh, o u is u sonami and, and in french when you will you will see o u without an accent on top of the u means or but when you see o u with an accent on top of it that's where the accents are very important it means where where so know that difference you will see i think some of you even have seen this and you're wondering why is there something on top of a u and the other one there's nothing on top of the u it is actually to differentiate the words it, because it is the same pronunciation these are the words i was telling you they are homophones um, homophones they are pronounced the same but they don't have the same meaning so that is that is uh, that is uh, why you see u uh, u here the u has got no has no accent it means or so sonami uh, sonami um, sonami then let's get to feminine singular so he's the same thing he is her and when it is when when it is it is it is it doesn't matter whether it is masculine if the person is a is 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 a is an um, a male if it is the chair the chair is the chair remains a feminine so even if it is a a a, 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 a male person you will still say it is sa chaise sa it is the chair that is feminine so the possessive is must be put into feminine it doesn't matter if the person the the the, the, the owner of that chair uh, is uh, masculine so you say sa chaise sa chaise if it's a lady also her chair you say sa chaise so repeat after me sa chaise so then we come to uh, we come to plural the plural both feminine and masculine we said it is s e s both plural is then uh, it never changes it's always say for either whether it is masculine or feminine or whether it's starting with a vowel it is always s e s or m e s or uh, or t e s you know it is either me or uh, or uh, te or se for example like here is his chairs excuse me his chairs is repeat after me say chairs and remember we added uh, an s after the e to show that it is plural so even if it is her chairs it is still going to be say chairs it doesn't change so try those those rules that's how they work and uh, it's important to know those rules because that is how you're going to get the french uh, way of doing things in their language i mean sort of the grammar you know me i i know grammar is it's uh, it's a bit uh, it's a bit boring you know when you're doing grammar but you see there's you don't there's no way around it there's no way around grammar in french you have to master the different elements so that you can put them together so that you can make sentences that's why i go step by step explaining each um each element because each element is different we have looked at the personal pronouns we have looked at the we have looked at the verbs that i mean how to create the verbs and their endings uh we have we have looked now we have looked we are looking now at the uh, the possessives then i'm going to come to the uh, to the artic uh, articles articles they, they say it in french the definite article and the indefinite article that's the next lesson that i'm going to do because these are the main the basic basic elements that form the french language because once we see this we will take mark introducing himself and we look at this thing one by one and you'll see that i have i have actually explained them one by one starting from the personal pronouns that is the je and then the verb to be called that is the verb s'appeler yeah? and then uh, we we mark put put it in uh, in the first person uh, singular je m'appelle mark so you can see the elements i have explained them one by one if you follow them one by one you will see you'll be able to introduce yourself because you will have learned this thing step by step and once you do them step like step like that 
you will see that French is going to be much simpler for you. Now let's come to let's come to our friend. So either male or female, it is a notre ami, notre ami. So okay, so the our friend this much, but this one is much easier because you just say if it is masculine, you say notre ami. If it is feminine, you say notre ami. You just add an e on ami to make it become a female. So notre ami, repeat notre ami. And our friends. Now if you come to our friends. It is uh, the same for everybody. It is nozami or nozami. It doesn't change anywhere. So repeat after me, nozami without an uh, without, without an es, uh, and nozami with an es. There's no difference. Uh. You just say nozami. It means our male friends. Nozami, our female friends. So you see, it is much easier. The our our the possessive our possessive. Uh, notre is much easier. And then just like votre ami, uh, your friend, so we are with your friend plural, you see it is votre ami, votre ami, masculine, votre ami, feminine. So repeat after me, votre ami, votre ami, then votre ami, that is feminine, votre ami. So uh, your friends, whether they are or male or female is the same you're going to use vos amis and you pronounce and then you see i have already told you why do i say vos amis is because v o s that is your and uh, v o s then you do the the, the v o there's an s and then the word ami begins with a vowel so in french for pronunciation purposes the s is always joined with an a. So that that's why you pronounce it, you pronounce it as if in Mexicana, hmm? as if it's joined together. It is vos amis for masculine, and then vos amis even for feminine. If it is a male, female friends, then let's finish with leur ami. Leur ami is almost almost the same because you just say leur ami, okay, without e, and then uh, that is uh, masculine. Leur ami, and then leur ami feminine without a, with an e at the end to show that uh, the friend is a female and then their friends so their friends you remember it is still leur but you just add an s eh, on leur so it is the same nothing changed it is leurs amis eh, if they are uh, masculine or leurs amis even if they are uh, if they are, that's feminine it's the nothing changes so you have uh, you have seen today the use yeah, how to actually place this um, how to how, how to how to really specifically how to use them because yeah we are looking at specifically the use before we just uh, we just named them huh? we now we just looked at them we just described them we say more mom we describe but here now we put sentences huh? actually we put actually nouns huh? to put nouns actually they are not sentences but um, we have put some short phrases there actually uh, to to put nouns so that to explain the how to use them that is how to use the number that is when it is plural how to put them when it is ge when there is a gender that is whether it is masculine or feminine and when also there is a vowel when the when the when when the noun starts with a vowel how to behave how it will behave so you saw the you, you you have to keep if it is more more if it is uh, even if it is if the word starts with a vowel it doesn't matter whether it is masculine or feminine you will put if it is uh, with my you will put more if it is with ton uh, with uh, with the uh, your you will put you will put uh, the ton if it is with his or her you will put son doesn't matter whether it is masculine or feminine remember that rule remember that rule so as i come to the end of this lesson lesson i mean as i come to the end of this lesson please subscribe in numbers follow my lessons leave your comments um, uh, in the comment section if you have specific questions or if you want to know specific lessons if you want me to explain to you specific uh, places maybe you are stuck with like uh, if you do, you don't you don't get maybe uh, how to conjugate in french or if you want to know how uh, french possessives behave and so on and so forth. if you have any questions go to the comment section and ask me any question and that's and please uh, subscribe in numbers tell your friend to, to tell a friend to subscribe follow my, my 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 lessons my french lessons in my youtube channel 
as we go along i will also be with time if um, if if, uh, if they, they, they we get enough uh, uh, enough means we'll be putting more foreign languages especially uh, latin languages like spanish maybe italian and uh, and also german yeah? German is uh, another language that is getting more and more important because of the German economy. German, uh, German is needed for those who would like to go and work in Germany. So as we go, you please continue subscribing so that you'll be getting lessons uh, in my YouTube channel. Thank you.